Welcome to Biblical Christian Content, where we like to keep the content biblical. Let's go. Whenever he wants you, he can take you, and it's no wrong done to you. All you can do is die. But if you choose to live the life of the, the fear person, the seek comfort rather than meet need, protect yourself, live in safety, you can lose body and soul. And that's worth trembling about. Lose your body and fly away to Jesus. That's no loss. It's a loss for your mom and dad, your kids. Sure, but God will step in and meet their needs. All your enemies can do is dispatch you to paradise. And it might be helpful to say right here what's the difference between a Christian martyr and a Muslim terrorist suicide bomber. The difference is this. There are lots of differences. Muslim people do not believe in Christ crucified and risen. And therefore, they're not saved. They're not going to heaven. There is no paradise on the other side, especially on the other side of murder. The difference when I say all that can happen for you is that your enemy dispatch you to paradise is you die to bring people to the truth. You don't kill to bring people to the truth. Christianity does not spread by the sword. There is no spreading of the message of the Prince of Peace by the sword. I wish the Muslim world knew the difference between American military and Christian missions. They don't. They think it's all one thing, and that's a great tragedy, which is why we must, as patriotic as you want to be, and it's a good thing, you must distance yourself in kingdom enterprises from American enterprises. There is a difference between having Jesus as your president and having Bush as your president, or Kerry, or whoever else. There ought to be a kind of counter-cultural edge to your Christianity that lets the people you work with know my first allegiance is to Christ, not America. I don't, no, I shouldn't go there. I'll forget that one.